So um, when I was about 10 years old, I received my first ex or my first uh, video game, which was a Wii. And dang, did I love that thing. I had played it so much. I had so many, much uh, good memories playing that with my siblings. And then about two years later, when I was about 12, I got my first Xbox 360. And I think that's when I became like an actual video gamer because I played it all the time. And um, I think one of the biggest topics for my gener my young generation is is video games mentally healthy for us, or are they just a big waste of time? And I think after many of the statistics and studies I've seen, and from my own personal experience, that video games actually have a positive effect on the way we think and the way we create. So how do video games impact us as humans? Well, video games are all revolved around one thing, and that's problem solving. In every video game you play, there's always there's one there's always one main problem that you have to figure out, and uh, in, the, in there, there's four main things that gamers have to do to solve that main problem. So to start off with, uh, number one, urgency. All video gamers have to have that sense of urgency to accomplish, uh, the, accomplish that main goal. They want to do it fast and effectively. And they want to go through levels and they want to level up, they earn money, kind of whatever that video game is. They want to do it fast and effectively. Um, secondly, intensity. Uh, video gamers, when they play, they, have, they, they zero in on the main focus and they uh, they turn all their concentration to one thing. They have this deep, intense focus on their main problem. And that's, uh, that's how they solve their problem. Uh, number three, optimism, the confidence of the future. And no video gamer plays a video game knowing that they're not gonna be successful at it. They know if they work hard enough at it, they're gonna accomplish their main goal. And so they have that really good optimistic view on video games and uh, that they're gonna succeed in it. They're gonna level up if they, if they try hard enough. And lastly, cooperation and collaborate. Um, this one's really important because uh, they have to, on almost all online games, you have to work together to achieve that goal. And if they work together, they know they're going to achieve it. And even if you're facing enemies, they might not be uh, helping you achieve your goal. But you have that ability to trust them that they're going to play with you, they're going to play that video game with you, and they're, you guys are going to like work together. So you're, you're able to trust them, and that's a big thing in video games. So it's really easy to accomplish goals in video games, as you can see it. But why is it so difficult to accomplish those same goals in re like re reality? So I think in video games, we can be successful, while in reality, things that aren't as successful, so we can't really accomplish them. But in video games, it's just easier because it's on a reality world for us. So a study done by Jane Gagnol tells us that, on average, over 10,000 hours is spent video gaming before we turn 21. That's over a year of video gaming before we even turn 21. That's all the way from being a toddler playing on iPads or old computers to Xbox and whatever video game consoles we play now. And I know that is a lot of hours, but I don't think that's actually a bad thing. I think it's a good thing because we're learning those four main traits, intensity, urgency, optimism, and collaborating. So maybe yeah, that is a lot of hours, but I think it also has like a good point of view from it. So I listed all these traits that video gamers are getting good at, but what are, what are exactly are video gamers getting good at in reality? Like, what are they doing? So to break it down again, start off with urgent optimism. I kind of talked about this earlier, but um, they have that self-motivation to achieve a goal in, a video, in the video game, and they tackle obstacles. They, they want to go into a video game, they want to be successful, and they want to do something that they're going to achieve, like tackle those obstacles. Secondly, social skills. They learn to cooperate and collaborate with different ideas. They work together to achieve that main goal, and they, uh, they know in different video game strategies, they, uh, Two minds are better in one video, than one in just a video game. Uh, then thirdly, this is my favorite, happy productivity. We as humans are not designed to be lazy and do nothing. We want to we wanna go out and we want to achieve something. We want to accomplish that goal. And uh, we, are, we have that strong sense to go out and accomplish a game or a problem. And I think video gamers are really willing to work hard at something when given the right thing to work at. So uh, last but not least, an epic meme. All video gamers play to have some type of epic meaning in their, in their game. And uh, I think we attach ourselves to epic missions to build something productive and successful. We want to use our creative mindset to build something epic. So maybe I don't see video gamers as lazy. I actually see them as uh, super empowered, hopeful individuals because they want to do something creative, they want to they accomplish a goal, and they want to do it effectively. So, economist Edward Casanova stated, we're witnessing what amounts to no less than a mass exodus to virtual worlds on online gaming environments. What he's basically saying is, 
It only makes sense that we as humans are going to video games in reality or in virtual worlds, and we, we are in reality. Because um, in reality, we might not be as successful in something, so it's easy to be successful in a video game where we can use our potential. So now what? We have all these potential video gamers with the ability to work hard, accomplish things with confidence, and a willingness to collaborate. Why can't we put those to actual real-world problems? Um, well, the only way we can use those same skill sets and urgency in video games, the only way we can use those in video games is if we apply them to real-world life, like real-world situation. And to do that, we have to take a break from Xbox and PlayStation video games in general. If we take a break from that, we are able to use our potential in video games in real-world situations. So, in conclusion, not only are video games building better mentally creative mindsets, but I think it's creating individuals who are crazy enough to just might as well uh, change the world and given the right opportunity to. And I think that's what video gaming is all about. And that's it.